Hello guys. Welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna talk about those people who made a living as sideshow freaks. Most had physical disorders and had no alternative way of making a living. So here's a list of 5 most famous sideshow freaks. Born in 1862, Joseph Merrick developed a physical disorder that caused his limbs to grow extremely large when he was 5 years old. He joined the sideshow attraction in 1884 where he was treated well and earned a large sum of money. A visiting doctor saw him there and made arrangements for him to live a better life. It now believed that Joseph Merrick actually suffered from Proteus syndrome and not elephantiasis as is commonly thought. Merrick died at the age of 27 from suffocation while he slept. Stefan Bibrowski was born in Poland in 1890. He suffered from hypertrichosis, a rare genetic disease that covers the entire body of the subjects with a thick coat of fur. In the case of Lionel, six inch long hair covered his body. He was discovered by a German man named Meyer when he was four years, and became famous throughout Europe where he gained the nickname of Lionel the Lion Faced Man. Far from being exhibited as a beast, he wore often the best clothes to show that under his hairs he was a literate and enjoyable person that spoke five languages. In 1930, a Chinese farmer from Manchukuo was discovered by a Russian banker. The Russian was able to take a picture of the man and he sent the snapshot to Robert Ripley of Believe It or Not, known only as Wang. The farmer was normal in every respect except for the fact that he possessed a 14-inch spire-like horn growing from the back of his head. Ripley offered a huge cash reward to anyone who could produce Wang for an appearance in his auditorium. However Wang disappeared from the public eye in the early 1930s and was never heard from again. Martin Laurelo was born in 1889 and came to the United States from Germany in the early 1920s. Before The Exorcist shocked audiences with Linda Blair's revolving head, the demon-free Laurelo astonished crowds with his turning noggin at the Coney Island, The Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey show, and at their Ripley's Believe It or Not! auditorium in the 1930s. Martin Laurelo could turn his back to you and still look you in the eye. The human owl had the unique ability to rotate his head 180 degrees. Ripley advertised him as the only one in the world who can walk straight ahead and look straight behind. Mademoiselle Gabrielle was born in Basel, Switzerland in 1884. She possessed no legs and according to a 1929 London Life article, she possessed no stumps whatsoever. Her torso finished just below the hip gracefully. Her figure was impressive and she accentuated her physical qualities and natural beauty with opulent Victorian garb and striking jewelry. She firmly believed that she was no less a woman, despite being physically half of a woman. She began her freak show and exhibition career at the Paris Universal Exposition in 1900 as the half-woman. Mademoiselle Gabrielle attracted men in droves and married at least three times during her lifetime. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video and want to get updated with such interesting stuff then don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel.